the W8S the expedition to Swains Island is coming up in a couple of weeks and they have a cool tool for predicting propagation that I thought we could go over. So let's head over to their website. Click propagation and then scroll down to vocab and click the link. Now the first thing we need to do is set our grid locator. If you know it, go ahead and enter it. If not, you could click the your grid locator. Then zoom in on the map to your location. And once you hover over your location, you can see your grid locator up on the top. For this location, it's EM95NF. So we'll go back and we'll enter EM95NF, which you need the full six digit locator. We'll leave SSN as it is and we'll leave minimum takeoff angle as it is, but we'll adjust the power to 100 watts if we're not using an amplifier. On the left-hand side is the antennas that W8S will be using. Leave those set as they are. But for your antennas, you can try to pick the antenna that best fits what you're running. For most people, you're gonna to wanna to select a dipole. Even if you're not using that, maybe you're using the infed half wave, dipole is gonna be the closest match for you. So just go ahead and select that. Now for the lower band, you might be running a quarter wave vertical, so you can select that. Once you're done picking your antennas, click on the Run Vocap button. It's gonna generate a bunch of charts and we'll start going through these. So the first one I like, like to look at is the reliability. What the reliability is, is it is the percentage of days that the transmitted signal to noise ratio will exceed the signal to noise ratio required to make a contact. On the left-hand side of the chart is the percentage. On the bottom is the UTC time. What I like to do first is by clicking on, I can deselect the bands that I'm not running. So for this example, we're gonna show just the 40, 20, and 15 meter bands. Now looking at this chart, we can see that we are at an 87% to 90% reliability between the times of 4 UTC and 9 UTC. So based on this chart only, we would say that 20 meter band is our best chance to make a contact between the hours of 4 and 9 UTC. But maybe there's a better band, so let's dig in a little deeper. So we'll scroll down to the 20 meter chart. The first thing I like to do is deselect the long pass. So now we're left with just the short path predictions. If we look at the chart on the left-hand side is the percentage, which is used for the MUF and the reliability. You have your UTC hours on the bottom. And then on the right-hand side is your signal strength in S units. Now this chart is based for the whole month of October. So we can see that the blue line is the reliability. We have the 90% chance of receiving a signal between the hours of four and nine UTC. So that is a pretty good time to try. If we look at the orange line, that is the MUF, which is the percentage of days that month that the signal will be below the maximum usable frequency. So it's a pretty good chance that we could get in below the MUF. If we look at the green line, that is our expected signal strength that we would be receiving. And we're between an S5 to an S6, closer to an S5. Then if you look at the gray shadowed area, this is the signal power distribution. You wanna make sure that it's not getting too wide. If we look over at the 17 meter, you can see that it is very wide on the 17 meter, which tells us that the software is not very confident in its prediction. You'll also usually notice that the muff dips down. So the muff is probably what's causing the uncertainty of that not knowing if our signal will be below the muff. So we see that 20 meter, it's more confident that your signal will be below the muff. And if you looked over at the 30 meter, it's pretty confident that it's gonna be below the muff. So is 20 meter gonna be our best chance? More than likely. But if the muff does happen to drop down that day and we can't get our signal out on 20 meter, our next best band based on our antenna situation would probably be the 40 meter band. 
So let's take a look at it. Once again, we'll deselect the long pass, leaving us with only the short path predictions. We can see, as we would expect, we're well below the muff. We have still a good 80% reliability, but in a little shorter of a time frame. I would say from six to about 11 or 12 UTC would be good. And we can see that the signal strength will still be around an S5. So if you can't make a contact on the 20 meter, maybe you wanna try the 40 meter band. Both look good. So this is basics on how we read the vocab charts and I hope it helps. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments below. And thanks for watching.